What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're taking a look at a knife. A really heavy, chunky, but also kind of small and pocketable knife. You may have seen this thing on my Instagram. You may have seen it in some mail time videos as I'm pulling it out of my pocket and opening some packages with it. No matter where I show this thing on any of my social medias, I always get comments about it and people want to know more about it. You want to see a full dedicated video on it. So today I'm bringing you that video on the Medford Micro Praetorian. So this is by far the most expensive knife that I've ever bought, I've ever owned, and when I saw it at Blade Show, I knew that this was one of a kind. I wasn't gonna come across this exact knife again, so I figured might as well treat myself a little bit and step up my collection even more. Now I didn't just buy this Medford as a collector's piece because as you guys know, I like to use my stuff, so I began cutting stuff with it the same day that I actually got it. So as far as the specs go, this is obviously the Medford Knives Micro Praetorian. This is one of the more pocketable, friendly knives that they make. The other Praetorians in their line are much larger, and although they are marketed as an EDC knife, I don't think you will ever catch me with something that size in my pockets. So this micro from a side profile is a pretty good size. However, once you look at it from the back or the front, you will notice how thick it is. It is two C's thick, T-H-I-C-Q-U-E, with a little squiggle over the top. This thing is chunky. Now as far as the specs and options go, this is a drop point blade made out of an S35 VN steel. The blade steel is actually marked by the dash S here on the side of the blade. And this thing has what they call their Vulcan finish, which sort of looks a little bit distressed, kind of heat anodized, and it just jumped out to me right away because it's a really cool looking blade. It is hollow ground and it is very sharp right out of the box. As you can probably imagine, I haven't cut a whole lot of stuff with this knife yet, but in the future, if I want to cut with it some more, I think I should be able to put a pretty good wicked edge on there. This is a titanium version of the Micro Praetorian, so pretty much the rest of the knife is all made out of titanium. It sort of has a tumbled finish to it with the show side as well as the lock bar side. And then also on the lock bar side, you can see the nice custom, sort of springy, but it has really good retention at the same time pocket clip. It does have a proprietary pivot on there, so I will not be taking this thing apart to service it or anything like that. Medford does have a pretty good warranty, at least so I've heard. So if anything does go wrong with this knife, I should be able to send it back to them. However, it's a tool, so I probably won't be doing that. You have a super thick backspacer on here, which has a little bit of a pommel on the end there. The knife is kind of small in my hand, so I don't think I'll ever actually slam that into anything, but it's there, aesthetically pleasing, sure. It's got some massive jimping on the back of the handle as well as the blade. And right in between all of that jimping, you will see the massive stop pin that comes out on both sides of the blade. Now, right off the bat, I know one of the things that a lot of people are going to ask is how much does something like this cost? And unfortunately, I can't put an exact price on that. Like I mentioned, this is one of one and most Medfords out there are custom ordered. I just happened to come across this one in their booth at Blade Show when I was down there in Atlanta, Georgia. And there are so many different options when it comes to knives like this. Whether you're getting a micro or a full size, whether you're getting G10 or some upgraded options like I have here with the titanium, the nice pocket clip, the S35 VN blade on here. There's a lot of different options and Medford does make one solid chunky knife, which we'll talk about more here in a second. But if you're looking for prices on these, I will leave links down below. You can find the Praetorian line going anywhere from about like $600 to upwards of $2,000. So there's a wide spectrum here, but for the most part, I would definitely consider this a more high-end knife. This is not gonna be for everyone. The only reason I'm showing you this is because it is a sweet little blade. I get a ton of questions on it, like I said. But yeah, just know that this was basically a grail knife buy for me. I've always wanted a Praetorian like this, and when I saw the Micro in this exact configuration, I was like, Yes, I need that. So now let's talk about this knife for what it is. It is marketed as an everyday carry knife. This thing has actually been in my pocket a few times. This is by no means a daily carry for me. I have carried it like right after I bought it. Now I'm basically carrying one knife to kind of rule them all. However, that does not mean that I'm afraid to carry this thing and maybe in the future, if I'm feeling like extra fancy, maybe I will end up carrying this thing some more. 
So as far as ergonomics go, this thing doesn't have a flipper, there's no thumb stud or anything, all you have is this little like blood trough on the side here. Different companies use different names for this cut right here, which you can find on both sides. And the way you open it is you simply hold it and press on that with your thumb. It gives you just enough leverage to put this thing out in its full locked position. Lockup on here is fairly early, so I'm pretty happy with that. And just the overall fit and finish on this thing just feels unlike anything else, really. It definitely doesn't have the tolerance feels of something like my Chris Reeves Sabenzas that I own, but this thing is just like, ah, oh, it's just chunky. It feels like a tool and that's exactly what it is. I've actually heard people refer to a knife like this as a sharpened pry bar. And I mean, you're not wrong. This thing is pretty much a pry bar. That blade there is a 0.19 inch thick piece of S35VN. You got the super thick backspacer in there and then the titanium on each side adds more girth to it. It's a small knife if you look at it like this, but from any other angle, it's also a big knife. Now, as far as the ergonomics go, I do like the little cutouts on the side of the scale here. It just gives it a little more character to it. I guess it adds some grip to it. The jimping on the back here is huge. It's effective, but it's not my favorite. Aesthetically pleasing though, hell yes, I think this knife does look really good or I would not have bought it. And then as far as the overall feel in my hands, I would say I have larger size hands and if I kind of squeeze my fingers on there, I can fit the whole thing into my palm. Like I said, that pommel is not gonna be hanging out far enough that I can actually like hit things with it. But are you really gonna do that with a high-end expensive knife like this? I personally am not going to be doing anything like that, but yeah, I'd say overall it feels pretty good in my hand. Now because that blade is so thick, this thing is definitely not going to be the best slicer. However, the hollow ground blade definitely helps out with that. I am a big fan of the profile of this thing, and like I mentioned, I should be able to bring out my Wicked Edge and put a really sharp mirror polish edge on there if I decide to. I'm not going to do that yet because this thing is still fairly sharp from out of the box. Let's see if I have any paper around here to cut. Here I have a sticky note. I've not done this before, but I'm assuming, yeah, it'll cut right through there. No problem. It doesn't necessarily push cut, but it is pretty sharp. Now that I've been getting more into sharpening knives like this, I'm more curious about the actual angle that they put on here. And that is something that I could change in the future if I wanted it to do something different. However, this thing is like a pry bar. I'm not gonna be actually prying with it. However, it is just big, thick, and robust. And because of the overall build quality of this thing, I could definitely see myself using this a lot and like hard use. Now to close this thing up, the lock bar moves out of the way fairly easily. And then once I get down to the bottom here, clicks into place. I'm not gonna shake that thing loose. It's just a really solid knife. As far as the pocket clip goes, as you can imagine, this thing takes up a ton of real estate in the pocket as far as this way goes. So here, this is what this looks like. I know I'm wearing black jeans, but you should be able to see that just a little bit. Slides into the pocket nice. It's not necessarily deep carry, but I do not feel like that thing is gonna fall out of there at all. You can see the pommel and a little bit of the titanium sticking out there, and it's uh, it's a little bit of a pocket bling. I definitely dig the shape of the pocket clip and I think this thing looks good in the pocket if you care about anything like that. But anyway, yeah, that is my Medford Micro Praetorian in titanium with the S35 VN blade, Vulcan finish. It's a sweet little knife and I know you guys wanted to see it, so there you go. If you wanna see some more pictures of this, make sure you check me out on Instagram. Post a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some things that I don't always show on the channel, so definitely go give me a follow over there. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments down below, and I guess in the future, we'll have to do an updated knife collection because I got one, two, three, four more knives sitting back there that I have not covered in a video before, so maybe I will have to get around to doing some more of these if you guys like them. So if you do, leave me a like, and if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. That's gonna be all for today, so as always, Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.